Welcome to Weekly Digest, where we highlight works of ministers of government as they push the administration's development agenda. Villages in Region 6 continue to benefit from government interventions to advance development. On Saturday, Minister of Agriculture Zulfikar Mustafa visited the villages of Sandvrut, Mibakuri, Eversham and Number 63 Village, where he listened to the concerns of residents. This government will continue to improve your life. That is our, in our plan, and we have been doing work all across this country. When I heard that the machine has to come here, I tell the comrades and send it. I know Sanford has been a pr productive area over the years, and we will make Sanford once again a productive area so that you can produce. Six families from Seafield Sophia have benefited from the distribution of seven to five broiler chickens each to help them earn a living from poultry rearing. It's really a, a way to empower our women, give you um, an additional source of income, give you the financial independence that you need once it's handled correctly. Minister of Local Government and Regional Development Sonia Parag has charged persons in the public sector to be professional and efficient. They need to understand that they have taken a job with a responsibility of assisting people. And I'm saying that very publicly because, again, I was the Minister of Public Service. And we have had this kind of complaint from the hospitals. But I am, I am going to be moving through the regions too and the hospitals. Persons who wish to apply to work in the public sector or apply for promotions can now do so online as the Public Police Commission launched its website. So we, we are moving forward on this and therefore every time we build a platform to connect our country, we are building inclusivity, fairness, transparency, accountability. This is the platform that we're, we're going on. Government has implemented a slew of undertakings to ensure Guyanese can build their dream homes. One example is the steel and cement subsidy that has benefited over 1,000 Guyanese so far. As a government, we recognize our commitment and our mandate to help in, in the sense of home ownership. And so a lot has been injected to the housing and water sectors. And uh, even Region 6 here is no exception. The $1.87 billion infrastructure works are moving apace at 5 Miles Housing Scheme Phase 2 in Bartica, Region 7. This 99-acre housing development will produce more than 300 lots, with 150 already allocated. As a result, since because of the development of that area, you see infrastructure work is ongoing. So we have three lots for which the infrastructure work is nearing completion. We're just... We just have the drains and the pipe network to put in place for the area. Further, Minister Krull pointed out that $400 million will be invested to construct a new water treatment plant at 6 miles to supply the residents from 5 miles to 7 miles with more access to treated water. The award will be made sometime in March, so the commencement date will be in April for a new treatment plant to suffice with the current system that we have that will see areas such as five miles, seven miles, where you're only getting about three days a week or so, will be getting full supply from that when we finish that investment. Whilst having a meeting with residents of Anna Catherina on land regularization, Minister Kroll noted that government continues to work to fulfill the housing needs of Region 3 residents. In this short period of time, for example, we have allocated here in Region 3 over 5,696 lots here on the west coast of Demerara in three years. Approximately 400 residents of Dark Point, Region 7, will soon benefit from a continuous supply of portable water as their $12 million water supply system is almost completed. But the fact is that Region 7 and Bartica is not exempted from the investment by your government. $535 million in three years under the water sector. This year, we have another $345 million budgeted for the hinterland. 
During an outreach on Monday afternoon in the villages of Sirijahana, Land of Canaan and Craig, East Bank Demerara, Minister within the Office of the Prime Minister with Responsibility for Public Affairs, Kwame McCoy, stressed that government's priority is the people. We have to be able to just not create opportunities, but we have to have smart management, strategic management, and being able to develop our economy and at the same time to develop our people. So we are working out a modality of how we could operate and how the contractor will still continue his work and that would even be we'd have to make some adjustments in terms of time because while we are loading boats and unloading boats safety of those who are operating um, must be taken into consideration. The Ministry of Human Services and Social Security under its Spotlight Initiative received several electronic devices from the UNDP to aid in data collection of gender-based violence. Now, moving forward in a modern world, we must have digitizing of records. Mm -hmm. We must have not only the collection of data, but the analysis of data, and we must also have the generation of reports. Mm -hmm. So that pillar that UNDP was responsible for continues to give, because prior to this, we also received technical support to develop the kind of software that we need and tablets. The Ministry of Labor hosted another seminar focusing primarily on conditions of work and occupational safety and health requirements, which saw the participation of 64 organizations covering 10,500 employees. And we expect that every employer must honor their obligations to their employees. And also, employees must honor their obligations to their employers. Because many a time, the focus is on the employer, what they are not doing. This has brought us to the end of this edition of Weekly Digest. For these and other government-related stories, do log on to our website at dpi.gov.gy and our social media platforms as well. Goodbye.